How's it? Today is Monday, May 3rd, and I am sort of deloading this week. Like a real true deload. Um, I haven't had one of these in a very long time, like 16 weeks or something like that. I think this is actually the 16th week of this sort of training block, which basically means that for the last four months, um, I've just been training sort of progressive overloading up to this point and you know I made a lot of progress um, the only hiccup that I've ran into was these last three weeks two two and a half weeks um, it was my elbow which is um, good and bad I it means that I, I made a lot of progress um, and that's good obviously and then the bad the bad portion of it is that this elbow pain hasn't been this bad since I heard it um, in 2015 so this is a uh, bittersweet sort of um, spot in training but um, today's work honestly felt pretty okay on my elbow I was just working up to five triples power snatch at um, 70 I think I executed pretty well I made sure to focus on keeping my um, my wrist in as little extension as possible uh, overhead specifically because that's the portion where I feel the most stretch in my forearm uh, and whenever I feel stretch in my forearm then I, I feel a lot of pull through my elbow and that is a sort of dangerous spot to be in for this this injury otherwise um honestly i feel really strong i feel like my my power snatches look freaking solid uh, i kept that one down kind of got out in front of me but it, overall like i'm um really happy with how they look today um you know if i isolate the lift and sort of how I feel uh, if I isolate the two then I'm, I'm doing pretty well and then I'm also doing very badly if that, if that makes sense here's my first set um, I didn't realize how long it was going to take to do five triples but it, it took a long time um, my warm-up sets you know were very just short you know 40 50 60 five and then 70 and so here we are um, real simple after that um, after the power snatches I still got a bit left on the video but after the power snatches I did some snatch pulls which I haven't done in a very 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 long time so I am not sure how to actually execute them but you know um, it's whatever I get the bar really high um, due to my pull not sure if that's coming from legs specifically or from my upper body or both of them together I, I, I hope it's from both of them together but yeah there's Ken in the back uh, he saw one of my videos when I was doing pulls but he said it's like oh I'm in your video I was like yeah you're in all of them so you're literally like on the, the platform that is um, diagonal, diagonal to me but yeah I took off my shirt just because it got really hot I started sweating a lot I wanted to see what I look like you know the usual things but it's pretty pretty simple as far as these parts not just go you know I did I did say that they were pretty easy they're not super challenging some of these I, I feel like are a little bit better than others but overall like these again these are all really good I think that whenever I can look like um, Laradena Toma I think that's her name whenever I can look like her um, as far as like power output that is a good lift not that the first rep on this set was more close to, to her um, yeah oh there's Liz and then after that I just did my snatch pulls like I said uh, at one point, I said I want to see if I could get it above, above my chest, like mid chest. Uh, I 
I didn't think I got it that high on any of the, on the any of the lifts, but um, yeah. Another side note is that um, actually I ended up with a, a blister here on my thumb um, from these pulls. That's literally never happened before. This is the first time in all of my lifting that I've had a blister on my thumb. Um, it's it's a weird sensation. It's like a it's like a bubble of blood under my thumb skin, which I again I, I've never uh, <laughs> I cheated there, but I, I've never I've never experienced this before, which is weird um, for me. Uh, it'll go away eventually, obviously, but you know check on check in another box on the weightlifter experience. Yeah, so I stayed at 90 for three sets here. This is my last one. I'm trying my best to maintain height uh, and standing tall at extension. Um, some reps are better than others, but overall 90 kilos is not very heavy. And yeah. So after that, I moved into my push press plus overhead squat. The goal today was just to work up to a heavy, like not a heavy, honestly, just a, a one plus one, and I actually cut it short because I wasn't sure how my elbow would fare. It felt kind of bad um, at 80, so the, with the overhead squat, so I wasn't gonna push it beyond that. So I just actually kept it at 80, and that, that's all I did. Um, I'm I'm plenty strong to to go way above this, but I'm not trying to hurt myself further, you know, um, worse than the elbow already is. And then I finish off with some pull-ups and some GHD sit-ups. Some of these pull-ups actually do hurt, um, but I, as you can see here, I'm, I'm actually using straps. But some of the pull-ups, for some reason, um, have some sort of valgus pressure uh, in my elbow, and I'm not sure why some of them hurt and some of them don't. But yeah, uh, pretty good start to the deload week. Actually, pretty happy with how the snatches looked, and and pretty happy with how the, uh, how it felt on my elbow. It's definitely been worse. Uh, Sunday or Saturday was worse. Friday was worse. Wednesday was terrible. So you know things are looking up. Um, I hope they turn around soon. Thank you for watching. Shoots.